everyone and um, I hope you all had great holidays and Happy New Year and let's make this year just awesome for all of us. So this is another tutorial about the Hungarian Rhapsody by Liszt and uh, due to the absolutely unbelievable amount of pages in this piece, like 38. <laughs> I cannot make detailed tutorial this time because that would take like eternity. <laughs> so I just gonna highlight some of the, like the most important um, moments that I want to share with you guys that hope um, hopefully will make your playing a little bit easier for you. So the first thing is about again I rearranged some notes in the piece. Uh, and let's go ahead and just show you where I do this. So the first one comes in the very first part. Over here I'm taking these notes with my right hand. Which is quite helpful. Another thing that I had to change some notes when I started playing it super fast because um, I honestly couldn't play in the in the time that I wanted it to play as fast as I wanted. I couldn't play the notes that are written in the score. Um, besides, uh, that really helps my hand, my right hand, to release the tension and to keep it free and. Uh, still let me express everything I want while playing. So the first one comes here. Now over here I'm not playing this, I'm just playing this. And that helps because every time I would move my elbow to this six and back, I, I can do this in the very slow tempo or in the in the moderate. Not a problem. But if I played in the whole piece and I played super fast because I <laughs> my hand just <laughs> cannot breathe. So um, actually, when you listen, you cannot really feel the difference. So what I suggest is this as written and then simply here. sound and sometimes piano really doesn't let me do this so instead of this I play this <laughs> and that's it <laughs> um, the next thing I want to talk about uh, this 
piece is all about how to uh, play fast and uh, like don't miss anything. So play fast and clear. Uh, so let me tell you that if I would play it like without piano system like 15 years ago, I couldn't make it. it. Maybe I would bring it to like moderate tempo and still my hands would be very very tense while playing but I couldn't ever play it as fast as I played right now and again I made this piece during like three weeks it's just I really didn't have opportunity to record it so I made it very fast and uh, when I play it it's very comfortable and uh, I simply enjoy it so why I could reach this level of performance is because I'm using my elbow here and I'm using musical speech a lot. Uh, some of you who, are, who study piano system, they know that these two things really helps you um, to make all the lips very accurately. Uh, about left hand, every time it would play um, this crazy stuff like... play the bass clear, not like... <laughs> so, what am I doing with my elbow, for example? I'm moving it right, I'm moving it left. So I already prepared position. At the same time, I intonated with musical speech very, very accurately. So here, for example, I would imagine five down, five down. Now this one is four, four down. Um, and this pattern actually remains the same, like even here. Again, five down, four down, five down. So that that that's really important, guys. And uh, again, if for example I want to uh, some note doesn't really sound, then I would just imagine them more clear. For example, here sometimes I would play and second note wouldn't sound, so I would imagine it's more clear second note. I would voice it. Finger, uh, I, I could control my finger while playing. So, and that's it. I cannot go very deep into that. Um, maybe in the future, <laughs> when there will be like a lot of requests for students who really pass the system and they really can understand what I'm talking about, I will make that. It's really huge, huge, huge work. Um, so, just want to explain briefly that I still imagine every single note in this piece in the timbre of strings, in the violins, in the cellos. I still imagining in, in the movement, following the melody pattern. I'm still moving my wrist um, if I play slow with everything. You cannot see that when I play it fast, but all the movements uh, still remain the same in the muscles, in the memory muscles of my hand. Um, I'm still circling the notes where I need to prepare my elbow, where I need to move my elbow. Again, when I'm playing fast, you can never tell that I'm moving my elbow, but I'm doing this, guys. And actually, it's very cool because if I want to. I feel it so, so, so well that even if I want to uh, play faster, I simply make all the movements faster <laughs> that I already learned, the wrist and elbow movements. So in this case, it's very easy to, to speed up the, the time in this piece. Uh, I'm still playing it with intonation. Um, 
I'm still intonating every articulation that makes character of music very expressive when I'm playing it. Uh, I'm still imagining every harmony and God, God bless this piece because second part is basically F sharp major, C sharp major, F sharp major, C sharp major, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Uh, so it's so super easy. Uh, sometimes it goes to G sharp major, C sharp major, but I'm like F sharp major, C sharp major. <laughs> um, and um, I'm still imagining everything in good dynamics, um, even though this camera cannot represent everything that I'm playing, but when I play soft, it is really, really soft and nice. I'm still voicing the bass and the melody. Uh, and I'm doing the musical speech and the phrasing is so much important here you have to really figure out where is the motive, where is the phrase, where is the sentence in the piece uh, to distribute energy while playing it um, it really helps not to be overwhelmed while playing and control your energy as well as the form of the music when I know where is the beginning of the piece, where is the rising to climax, where is the culmination, where is the conclusion. Um, the very important part I think is the time because in many uh, students performance I, I heard that they really don't control the time, they simply play by intuition, they may in the one page they may you know like speed up and then slow down so many times like every line, every single line, one line faster, one line slower and that that doesn't help to keep the energy in the piece it only um, makes the piece like falling apart you, you, you lost in the piece so uh, Liszt was very very detailed when he wrote all the ritardando and all the archivirando in this piece so please follow his marks, not your own intuition and for this you have to again really feel the time, really feel pulsation while playing and keep it so if it's andante you feel andante if it's uh, vivace you feel vivace like I think I will say it um, every crochet, every half of the bar when I'm playing and when it retardante you slow down your pulsation and then at chiderante you speed up and when it come back to original tempo you come back to original tempo <laughs> And so feeling pulsation while playing is very important, that's why um, piano system is very helpful here. And um, of course I'm playing it in the artistry because if I want to play it in, the, in front of the audience I want to feel that I'm in the control of what I'm doing, that I'm not lost in audience energy. So everything I'm intonate with special uh, meaning of artistry when I'm playing. Um, Alright, so uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video and please uh, go to my website and you can uh, sign up for my online course, uh, Piano Training Course. It's all for free. You simply follow my books, you um, um, uh, you follow the videos of other students, you record your videos, you send me, I give you feedback and it's all for free. <laughs> uh, so I hope to see you as my students and have a blessed day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.